Dapto winning 34 and 12. It's won 24 of 73. Comes to Sandown for the first time. And then the rest of them, $10 mid of Frost is a decent chance, as is Andre Bale. Night tip, Jackpot Jones, a $16 chance. She loves this trip. She's had three wins from 10 starts with six minors, and she's won four times from the pink, which she gets tonight, but she will need luck from that extreme draw. A very even way to kick off the quaddy. Big, big pull for the quaddy tonight. Green lights on. Lua's on the roll. The Sir John Dillon Memorial, they're set, and they are away. There's good speed out deep here from Father Rick. is going to fly over and found the front, and great guys out of play. They're all all strung out here. The leader was Father Rick. It's three or four clear on Jackpot Joan, who's three in front of Mitter Frost and Andre Bale. A long gap, Professor Snitch. Then came Multi Matt, and the other two are out of play. Great guy and Victor Damien. The leader was Father Rick. It's four and a half in front of Jackpot Joan. Then came Mitter Frost, but Father Rick's in front. Jackpot Joan is coming home strong, but Father Rick. Father Rick wanted to beat Jackpot Joan and Mitter Frost. Andre Bale was next, followed by Professor. This is Snitch, multi mat, and the other two have been collected. Great guy and Victor Damien. The time is 34.05. Well, how about that? The reserve gets a run, comes down from New South Wales and just goes bang. Yes, he sure did. He is yes. Mr. Versatile, this boy. I see his form. He can race over the 350 at Goulburn. He can come to Melbourne on Melbourne Cup night and win over 600. He is a phenomenal chaser. Yes, he's very honest, and uh, we're just so proud of him. He's just such a beautiful dog. Talk to me about what it means to come to Melbourne. As a reserve, originally the field suggesting maybe he's not good enough to be in there. I, I've got no doubt you, you believed in this boy and you knew he could do it. Well, we knew he could do it because he's, uh, the last two starts at Dapto was um, heats in to the, um, into the middle distance championships, which he won. Um, and uh, when he won, we knew that he could tackle this race. So that's the, hence the reason we brought him down here. The group three in Melbourne dominates from the front, runs 34.04. What's the plan? That's quick. That's very quick. No, that's quick. I don't know the times down here. Has, has he had a look at Sandown Park or was that his first ever? No, he had a trial on Tuesday. Yes. And you were happy with that, obviously? Yes, yes, very happy. What's the, what's the plan moving forward? He's gone 34 04. I'll tell you now, it's a very, very handy run. Are there some races on the agenda? Oh, for sure. Four years old on Monday. Wow. Yeah. And, and he thinks he's two by the looks of it. He thinks he's two. I know. I think he's just, um, he's just hit his peak, I think, at four years old. <laughs> Absolutely flying. Congratulations. Wonderful win. Reserve gets a start. And claim yeah, fantastic story. Father Rick just dominating. As you can see, all that... Oh, there was ugly going to that first turn, Cut. Yeah, and that was what we were saying with the favourite pre-race, that it was just going to be absolute carnage if he didn't nail the start. And for that reason, on those bend starts, when they're all just competing for the same running room, it can, it can get very nasty very quickly. Thankfully, they all seem to have made it around safe. But all honours with Father Rick, as we mentioned before the race as well. There was so much conjecture with this boy because he, he was only a reserve when the fields came out um, off the back of winning uh, a heat and final of the, the middle distance championship at Dapto. Mm. Um, the way the grading is in New South Wales though, as I was trying to explain, is because we don't have a city distance over the 600 at Wentworth Park, uh, that, that then means that even though they carry greater prize money, the middle distance tracks at Dapto, the gardens, yeah. Gosford, they're only provincials. So yeah. um, even though he won a, a $30,000 to the winner race at Dapto, it was still only a provincial. So yeah. um, when assessing interstate grading, whether that's a nuance that probably needs to be addressed for the future, maybe this, maybe this is exactly the example that we needed to highlight that there can be a kink in the in the system because he, he luckily for him he's gained a run and he was absolutely dominant he was just never in doubt so yeah absolutely justifies his position in the race absolutely so and, that conjecture and what she said as well the fact that he turns four years of age on monday to be coming down here away from his home deck at his age taking on these young middle distance greyhounds and making a mess of them it's just an incredible effort by the dog yeah. and by sharon and ray webbs to have bred this boy and they've had this line for quite a number of years as well so um, full credit to them an amazing job by them and um, they deserve nothing but success yeah two and three quarter lengths as well the winning margin so he hasn't just won he's won very impressively Don and there was obviously not for favorite punters with everything that happened with Victor Damien to that first turn but there was still support for Father Rick yeah well look the fluctuations told the story didn't it and it's a fantastic exhibit of the gamesmanship between both tab trader and tab customer they were hanging a price there for Father Rick the early markets price of course was double figures but it was six into five a couple of times six five six fifty then uh, jumped at five fifty tab fixed odds and 
and uh, despite a flurry of late support coming for it, they were still happy to offer a price for it. So if you did get on Father Rick, congratulations. And of course, uh, it is another favourite that uh, that gets done. But I think the fluctuations, it got out so considerably towards jump yeah. time there. It, uh, it jumped at 390, having been as short as 270. I think that told the story. Exactly right. Definitely told the story in the end. So that was the Group 3 Sir John Dillon Memorial. Race number six, this is the Cup Night Stayers. We're going over the 715 metres and the $3 favourite Pearly Tears at the moment. We're only 13 minutes away, so we'll take a quick break on Sky Racing Active and we'll join you shortly to talk you through race number six, the second leg of the quaddy.